<clears throat> oh. God damn, you're a one sexy ass nigga. Tying a little jam jams there. What's good, everyone? BNK Big Nasty Kel here, and it is October 25th, 2013. So, you haven't heard from me for a little bit, but something big is going on that I think it, sh it wa warrants me getting up out of bed all fucking day and talking to you guys. No, it's not that I don't want to talk to you guys all the time. It's something always comes up, something about the, the vi video I just don't like. The recent one that I did, I can't upload for some reason, so hopefully this one goes through in spite the other ones not. So, what's new? What's new is that Ultra Street Fighter 4 just came out with Battle Up dated make mechanics red for fo fo focus attack which was a rumor, rumor for about a week and double ultras um, the one that's still up in the air is the delayed what wake up and unblockables being taken out and i'll get to that in a second red for focus when i heard about this i thought it was a pretty dumb thing and the reason why i think it's dumb because it doesn't fix a problem the problem with this game is not that there's too many armor breaking moves or there's not uh, there's not enough double hitting moves. There's more than enough. The problem is that the focus attack is was supposed to be like the parry kind of. You know what I mean? And it works as such. It adds to the meta, I think. Some people don't like it. However, I think it's completely fine. I have absolutely no problem with fo focus attack. I just wish it was a little bit more universal. Like, like everyone had the same range and um, everyone had the same speed. But red for focus attack, it absorbs multiple hits. How many hits? No one knows. I did see in the preview, um, I think it was Ryu absorbing three hits against Ken. The jump in, the low forward, the fireball, and then whoosh. But I also did see a picture series of Makoto focus attacking Ryu super. All hits of it, taking shitload of gray life, but all the hits. In that respect, I, I say, what's the point? You know, it's, I don't understand that. Fuck, it's cold. Why the fuck is it so cold? It's windows open. One second. Oh, much better. Whew. That feels good. Feels good. I think about it, like, what's the point? You know what I mean? It's. It's, it's, it's not going to help but chip because you're, you're still going to take gray health. You know what? It does, per se, add a level of being able to punish harder, you know, if, if a move is, say, minus two, I guess. Um, and it's double hitting, I guess, you know, maybe. I'm out. So, <laughs> someone just fucking hit me up on Facebook and complained about grammar. Fuck grammar. <laughs> Fuck grammar in the ass. They're talking to a, a person who has a stutter about the proper way to speak. Wrong person, buddy. Scissor kick, I guess, would be a, a good way to think about it. Bison would have to really think about when he's going to use his sciz sciz scissor kick now because... Oh, this could be really bad. I'm trying to think. What, what would be the command for red focus? Because if it's two punch buttons, then that takes away from some plinking. I was doing this. I would make red focus... Um, hard punch and medium kick. That's what I would do. If it's hard punch and medium punch, that takes away from plinking for some combos. Like, you know, if you're trying to plink, if, I mean, for me, stand, jab, and a crouch fierce. Um, if it uses two bars upon activation, then that would be a little bit risky when it comes to your meter management against, say, a, a, a bison, um, where, he, where he has a two hit move where you can't absorb, you know. Because what if he decides just to stop and then throw you or stop and it's like, ooh, crush ya. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I, I really can't think of a good example of this, you know what I mean? I really can't think of a good time in which this would be useful. Double Ultras. Double Ultras, are, it's very interesting because everyone's crying about Z Zangief and, and T-Hawk. No one is really talking about T-Hawk, but he falls into this. Having access to both Ultras and in Gen's case, four Ultras, um, it just adds more utility to the situation. T-Hawk is going to be a fucking pain in the ass because, you know, people don't fucking talk about this, but they're increasing the range on Raging Slash or whatever that fucking shit's called. I'm playing too much Pokemon, see? So if they're going to increase the range on that and make it more of a viable, then it's it sits still and take 500 plus damage, damage with the most damaging Ultra in the game, or jump 
and then fucking either get EX Tom Tomahawk F A D D Seed or E Ultra 2. Hakan, you know, you fucking have a character that even right now if you jump air grab, you know, now it's you fucking jump out of all the ultra one ticks and fucking ugh, bloop. So got, in my opinion, with this change, got really, really scary. <laughs> really, really scary. Real. There's been a lot of times which I've seen and like I've said, you know, if he had both ultras, this would go differently. And now he does, and that's fucking scary. You know, what do I care about? Jury. Jury. How does this affect Jury? I don't know, because because they haven't announced any kind of changes to her, but this is the issue that I have, is that Feng Shui Engine is a different system when it comes to Ultra than anyone else in the game. It uses the meter for Ultra to tick down, and there's your timer, right? But this is the difference. You actually build Ultra while you're in Ultra. How are they going to nerf the damage for this Ultra? There's a slight damage reduction with Ultra now. Why is my camera off? Better? Um, there's a... Fuck. There's a slight damage reduction with Ultra... Fucking shit, man. Am I clear? Uh, there's a slight damage reduction with Ultras when you use both of them. All right? I think I read 40%. Now, that's big. It's almost half. But the utility for it for Jerry would be very, very good. How do you nerf the damage on Ultra 1? Are all of my moves now reduced by 40%? That would be horrible. But if they're going to nerf everything by 40%... Okay, well, let's, let's just say half, right? Half. If you're going to nerf everything by half, the damage by half, if I fucking do a fierce, now instead of it doing... This is easy math, Mike. This isn't hard. <laughs> if I do a fierce, instead of, you know, it being 100, now it's going to do 60? That's bad. Even just rounding up to 50, right? I found a way to do 392, right? 393, 392, no bar, overhead, mid-screen, again, some of the cast. 392, 400. Right? Half of that's gonna be 200 now? I'm only gonna do 200 damage, damage, damage. Maybe a bit more because pff, can't do fucking math. That would be bad. That would be a horrible nerf. Especially since she doesn't earn meter while she's in Feng Shui Engine. That's really, really bad. For Jury, some people have been talking about how this is great because now she has the utility of Ultra 1 with the damage of Ultra 2. Not at all. Like, Ultra 2 already has a lot of ways to go into Ultra. She doesn't need any more. Ultra 2 just needs to be more consistent. I don't think this helps Jury, you know. Now that I think about it, this doesn't help her at all. Unblockable is being taken away. This actually I'm I'm happy with, but I'm actually very sad about. Of course I'm sad about it because, you know, here I am using those unblockables. But I understand how it's not fair per se. You know, there is a way around it. You can escape a lot of them and you can take away some of the damage. It's not like I can just fucking willy-nilly just sweep and hope for the best. I actually, most of them you can escape from. I mean, like, Guile can't escape. M M Makoto can't escape. But fucking everyone else can, you know. Rose can escape and take away some of the damage. If she does fucking soul throw every time, she's not taking much damage, you know. If she has Ultra 2, I can't do it to her. Yun and Yang can up kicks and get out and get, and get out of there. Well, I mean, yeah, they're gonna take some damage, but not a lot. Sakura can fucking float away. Fake cross ups. Bison can fucking get out of there. Ken and Ryu can uppercut, but it's better to uppercut and take 200 da damage than fucking try to block it and take fucking four. You know, I'm sorry that I have to deal with Cami, and that's why I don't like that. That's the part that frustrates me is because. This is a nerf to jury. This actually is a nerf to jury because she doesn't have anything else that really helps her with cheap shit. In this game, we strive for cheap shit, and cheap shit helps us win. It's just how it is. Cheap shit. Where's jury's cheap shit? You know what I mean? Jury's cheap shit can be fucking avoided so easily. But yet, Cammy could just walk forward and hit buttons. That's cheap shit. That leads to big damage. That leads to more setups. Where's my cheap shit? Oh, but you can zone like a champ. It's not cheap. It's not fucking cheap. Capcom, Bofin, you are not getting my fucking setups. I'm not gonna freaking chime in and send you shit so you can nerf it. Go fuck yourself. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Hope that shit stays in there. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm upset because I didn't want them to be taken out. Uh, but I do because it's fair. You know, I'm torn on the whole thing. Pe people say, oh, if you have to use this to win, that doesn't make you a strong player. But it's not the proper way to look at it. You know, only thing that matters in this world is dubs and growth. 
And if I'm growing through technology, then that's growth. It's more tools that I can use, especially because like I have to constantly improve upon that technology. You know what I mean? It's, 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 if I have an envelope blockable that's escapable, I have to find a way to make it inescapable. If I have a fake cross up, I have to find mix ups to help that fake cross up. For an example, when you have a fake cross up, <clears throat> sometimes you just, you don't want to just go left and right because people will just guess left or right. Go fucking low, empty jump low. Works 90% of the time. Just have maximum damage off that crowd crouching short. You know, it's, it's, I don't know. And um, the last thing, delayed wake-ups. We're not sure about that. It is a rumor right now, but we're not sure if it's in there. But that's it. That's it. That's Ultra Street Fighter 4 for you. Um, I'm eager for it. It's not looking good for Jerry. Anything, I might be trying out Poison. If they don't really buff Jerry too well, I don't think she can hang. I'm definitely going to be trying to play top tier. <laughs> I'll be trying to pick up a top tier and fucking stick with them and bring out J Jerry as like a counter. You know what I mean? I know that sucks to hear, but... That's the truth of the matter. Why am I going to continue to try to fucking play a, a character that can't hang, you know? They're buffing everyone's walk speed, and they're making it easier to get in on z zoners with a lot of the fucking cast, but yet they don't make my zo zoning better because her zo zoning is decent. It's, it's good. It's decent, though. And another cancelization from another girl. Just say you don't want to chill with me. It's cool. Whatever. I have my computer. I'm going to fucking do some editing today anyway. Get at me, Kale Kuhn, K A I L K U N, Xbox 360, Twitter.com slash Kale Kuhn, and Facebook.com slash Artist by Default. Um, I've been trying to play more often, so if you want to play me, let me know. I'll put up a set. All right, that being said, go in pieces to her queen. All thanks be to Jerry.